All right, this is another completing the square questions or related to the stationary point or turning point here. Yeah, so, but this kind of question we can use the differentiation to do. So, yeah, so kind of, uh, if you use the differentiation, it's going to save you some time. So I will show some workings here on how to do, because yeah, the student actually asked me like how to do this kind of question. So obviously here you can see you have two curve. The, this curve actually is like with this equation and the yellow color curve is actually uh, with the yellow color equation. You should be able to see. And the question tell you A and B are both intersection uh, of both curve at the X axis. And it asks you to find the P and K. So the first idea here is um, you must know um, both of them actually share the same X value at the turning point here. So from here, if you know about completing a square, you should be able to know the uh, the x value basically is three because it's inside the bracket. Isn't it? So this uh, we call axis symmetry is basically x equals to three. All right. So because of this one, I know this one is basically uh, the turning point here is three and some y value, which is I do not know. I'm going to call it a two, three y here. If I know this one, I can do a combined square for this quadratic equation, or I straight away do dy dx equals to zero, because dy dx equals to zero is how we actually get the uh, uh, turning point. So if I do dy dx equals to zero, this one I will get about negative two x uh, plus two plus p will equals to zero, which is I differentiate this equation. All right, then I know my x value, isn't it? My x value is three at this turning point. Because dy dx equals zero, this one is for turning point, isn't it? So I will just sub my x equals to three into the negative two times three here, which is negative six plus two plus p. So I can get a p like this, which is negative four. Move to the other side will be positive four. So after I got the p ready, I can sub into here um, to get uh, my coordinate a and b here, and then eventually I can get the k here. So yeah, so let's sub into this equation. So y equals to negative x squared. All right, so p is four, two x plus four x, which is six x, isn't it? Because p is four, and then it's six x minus eight. All right, then I will make y equals to zero because it's on the x axis. All right, then I will get about um, negative x squared plus six x minus eight equals zero. I prefer my x squared is positive, so I multiply negative one for the whole equation. Then I will get this one, and then I will just factorize it. So why I want to do that? Because I want to find the a and b here, all right? So this one, obviously I will use four and two and minus for both. So x equals to four or x equals to two. So definitely I know this one is uh, two and four here in it. So if I want to find the k, uh, this coordinate a is called what? It's called about two zero and b is called about four zero in it. So I can just use any of this coordinate to find my k. Let's say I sub uh, my a into this equation here. So my y is zero, negative two, and x will be two. So it'll be two minus three square plus two k. So by solving this one, I will get my k value, uh, which is this is uh, negative one, square will be positive one, so here will be still negative two. So I move to the other side, become two equals to two k, then my k is equals to one. All right, so therefore, this is how I can quickly get the value of my p and k here. All right, I hope you find this video is helpful to you. Bye bye.